Hello everyone, and today we are going to be talking about how to describe a wave. We can talk about wave fronts, crest and troughs, amplitude, wavelength, frequency, period, and their speed. So, now what is a wave front? Wave front is the line that joins all the peaks or identical points on a wave. Okay, so over here you can see in this guy that is surfing and there's a little wave over here and there's a wave over there, right? The wave front is a bit like this line over here. So this, imagine this entire bar of thing is flowing towards you. Therefore, the direction of travel of the waves is always perpendicular to the wave front. The wave is coming towards me, which is towards the bottom of your screen. However, the wave front is um, across the screen, towards the left and right. To obtain plane waves, we only have this thing called ripple tank where there's a bar and this bar goes up and down, up and down, up and down and it vibrates and this causes waves to go across. If you use a bar, you will be able to obtain plane waves which is a flat wave that goes across. You can see each of these are wave front, wave front, wave front. Now if you want to obtain circular waves, you should dip a ball and the dipper into water. For example, like this. You can see that this is a ball that is vibrating up and down uh, into and out of the water and therefore it's producing these circular waves which, which are radiating outwards. Therefore, you can also see here the wave front, wave front, wave front, wave front. Now let's talk about crests and troughs. The highest point of a wave is called a crest or a peak. And the lowest point of a wave is called a trout. Imagine this is you and you're using a camera and you're taking a picture of a wave from the side. So imagine the waves are kind of like flowing towards the right. Okay. And this will be a peak of a wave. This will be a low point of a wave. So um, at this point would be, let's call it the height of the beach. Whereby this would be the middle point of the waves. What is the rest or undisturbed position? These points, these points which are the highest points of the waves, we call them the crests. And these points which are the lowest points of the waves, we call the troughs. Next, we need to talk about amplitude. The definition of amplitude is the maximum displacement from the rest position. Symbol for it is A and the unit for it is in meters. It's a measurement of distance. So looking at the same graph again, the displacement distance graph, these things are their amplitudes, whereby they are the distance from the midpoint, the middle line to the top, or the middle line to the bottom. Each of these are called the amplitude. One common mistake is that many people like to say the amplitude is from the top all the way to the bottom. This will be incorrect. That will instead be two times the true amplitude. Now let's talk about wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or two successive troughs. The symbol for this is this little thing here, which is called the lambda. Basically, you, you try to draw kind of like a straight inverted S shape and then draw a tail coming out of the middle. If you are trained in the Chinese language, um, this looks a little bit like a symbol for a red with a little thing coming out. Now, the SI unit of wavelength is also meters. So, what is the wavelength? Ta-da! This thing over here is the wavelength or the lambda. Over here are three methods of measuring the wavelength. Let's say you have a displacement distance graph, which is like, like you're in the water and you're taking a photo um, of the waves from the side. Okay, so the easiest way to determine a wavelength would be to get the distance from the top of one wave to the top of the next wave. That would be the wavelength, basically the length of a wave. Get the distance from one trial to another trial, and that will also be the wavelength. One final way of getting a wavelength is a little bit more difficult. Basically, you must find the middle line first, get um, one part of the wave that is at the middle line, okay, and get another part of the wave that is in the same phase as the first part, 
okay and the distance between these two would be the wavelength many people who use this method uh, have this problem where they take from here and until here which should mean this distance only but this is obviously wrong because this will be only half of a wavelength 